You, you ready? Yep. Okay. So, um, again, remember fast, crisp lines. Not really worried about making a mistake. If I make a mistake, I just draw over it. Uh, so, just marking out the knife. I'm doing this, trying to get this sort of full size, if I can achieve that on this piece of A4, but trying to get it full size and think about the design features that I want to have on there. So, I'm looking at some kind of guard that stops your hand slipping off the knife. Uh, onto the blade so you cut yourself and thinking about the different types of materials that might get used okay so some knives they have different types you know, they'll have a sort of a, a maybe a polypropylene and a rubber um, working together so I can just sketch over that try to denote that and um, and just work into that And you almost start to, with the pen, it feels a bit like you're carving into the paper. Um, that's a little bit dry, that one. No, that's fine, right. And I'm going to apply a little bit of Colour here, so let's just assume it's an orange handled knife. Easy to find amidst all your vegetable toppings. And you can work into this. And the way I'm working into this now, as I mentioned before, a water based marker now will be tearing the paper. But a spirit marker, I can just work onto it as much as I like until there's such a point the paper is saturated. But what I'm really doing is staining the paper. I can. Um, um, Bear with me a second. Yeah. Put this black on here. Again, I'm just staining the paper black. And then I mentioned the white pencil. Let's let that dry a sec. You can then work into the form on top of that with a white pencil afterwards and pick out the detail there. There'll be a little seam there that's still can catch with the white. And I can work into this a little bit. That's still a bit wet there. Okay, and actually bring out some of the form. I can then work into it some more with an orange pencil or you know, maybe a slightly darker orange or red just to give it a little bit of depth. Okay, and with the grey, you can see that when I sort of try and get that sheen on the knife, I'm just happy to go over the edge because I wanted to get that speed. These knives, got, these lines, got to be really crisp, and it's a flat surface. Now I said before, draw from the elbow, not from your wrist. If you draw from the elbow, you get a nice straight line. If you draw from your wrist, you end up getting these curved lines. Really fast there, and then these these lines as they overshoot. I'm trying to get that sheen on there. It doesn't matter because I can sort of segregate those off with this line afterwards. Here, this nice thick line. Like so. And that sort of tidies up the loose edges. Like so. And then if you really want to pick out the light take the Tipex pen, hopefully this still works, yes it does, and you just put a little blob of Tipex there to try and catch where you might imagine a line of light would go, and that just gives it a little highlight there, and that helps it. Okay, thanks.